Takže ahoj, já jsem Ádě, všichni moc dobře znáte. A dneska jsem tady z J- Jonah. Yeah. Jonah. A zeptám se pár otázek ohledně Česka a Ameriky. So, can you again tell me your name and with your last name? Jonah and last name is Wilson or Wilson. Okay, so Wilson. Yes. Great. I'm going to ask you, how do you enjoy Czech Republic so far? I li- it's very different lifestyle than what I'm used to in the in the states, but it's very fun and like the people are kind that I've met so far. I overall like it. It's fun to be here, so. And I know you've tried some food from Czech Republic. What was so far your favorite dish? My favorite dish so far would be the uh, I I don't know what it's called. It, it's this potato like pancake thing. It's like street food. Oh, you mean bramborak? Bramborak, yes. That I had that, and it was it was it was good. It was like totally unique from what I'm used to, but it was good. And do you want to try some other typical traditional Czech food? I'm totally yeah. If I can, <laughs> if I can find it, yeah. And I know you live in Prague right now. You've been in so many places in Prague. What was your favorite place in Prague? In Prague, my favorite place, there's this park close to where I live and it has like it goes up this hill and I have a really nice like wide view of the whole city. And so I could say some like basic place like Charles Bridge or the Hradi, I think, the castle. And like they're cool, but I think it's more fun when you're in some place where like it's more natural. So there there's like tons of dogs and people walking and it feels very a lot more close to like day-to-day life instead of just tourist places. So I'd say this like the park. Uh, is that the park with the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> it doesn't have not that one with the mini Eiffel Tower. Although that's a good one. It's um it's has this like track in it and it has this um little tiny market and I, I'm gonna have to Google it to know the name. I, okay, yeah. so I will put the name in the video. You can put the name in the video. But would you recommend it this place for Americans or from people from different countries that visit that's going to visit? Uh, maybe not like as a tourist destination because it's it's a park but it's very like I like to go on walks and runs and so to just be there where it's a very like a lot closer to how Czech people live normally it's really fun to experience that so if that's what they're into then yeah they should totally go to that and other similar places so. okay and what have you learned so far in Czech Republic maybe some sentences or something that the people do in Czech Republic or maybe something you like, you learned? So I thought that Mluvish um, Anglitsky meant do you speak English? And so I told it to a cashier because he asked me something in Czech and I didn't know what he said. So I said like Mluvish Anglitsky and he looked at me like he was offended and it was just like silence for a couple of seconds. And then he finally just like took my money and then he was kind of mad. I later found out that like Mluvete Anglitsky is what I should have said because he was like older and I was told that he was kind of offended. Um, so that was kind of a fun Czech word that I learned and now know to not say. Um, another one, like you taught duck, o- Oshaka? Uh, it was kachna. Kachna, kachna. There's a lot of like fun words to say because the sounds are so different from what I'm used to. Like the R with the little hat V on top of it. It's fun to say new words, so yeah. yeah. Okay, um, I'm thinking, is there something, does Czech Republic and America have something similar, like something resembling, or like, is there something you see in America and there's the same thing in Czech Republic? Hmm. Uh, in terms of the people, generally Americans are pretty like direct and blunt, and I feel like the Czech people are too, like they're pretty, tell you how they feel, maybe even more so than, than most Americans are. So that's like a, a people thing. For, I don't know, I can't think of any similarities because like in America, it's all spread out so much that we drive cars. Here there's like trams and trains, which are, they're fine, they're just different. I can't think of many like physical similarities. It's more personality in the people that comes to mind. And what about, I know that you are single. So what about the Czech girls? Because we are known as a country for really pretty girls. How would you say? Are there pretty girls more in America or in Czech Republic? Well, 
I've also heard that the girls here are crazy. So <laughs> there's like a, the more attractive they are, the more likely you are to find somebody who, who knows they're attractive and they can be a little, a little much to handle. Um, I'd say there's such a mix in America where like there's people from all these different places that it's almost, there's not an American girl per se because there's just so many different type, you know, different people there, different ethnicities and backgrounds. But Czech people are, they're certainly like pretty. So I, I'm going to plead the fifth on the rest of that question. Yeah. Okay, good answer, good answer. And last question. If you could bring something to your family back in America to taste or just to have or something that you really like, what would you get them from Czech Republic? I would, I would want to get them two things. One thing that they wouldn't like just to try and then something else that would actually be good. So I'd, I'd have them try Hordziche because it's nothing like what we have there. There's no sauce similar and it's very unique. Like you, you don't, re you remember when you taste it. Um, I'd also, and then for sweet things, I've, the uh, horelkis are really good, and they're like different. We don't have something quite like that, so I'd bring them the horelki, like little candy bar thing. Okay, perfect. So thank you so much. Uh, to bylo jo na. Taky děkuji.